Retail shops expected to be a busy tax-free weekend. CBS 7's Dan Lopez joins us live with more on the shopping. Dan. That's right, Tatum. Shoppers can expect it to be one busy weekend filled with shopping. And many of those shoppers are, are excited for this, but there were a few who were a bit skeptical about the so-called holiday. Shoppers can expect to buy most clothing, footwear, and school supplies tax-free starting today. The annual tax holiday started back in 1999, a convenient and inexpensive shopping window for back to school, or just for people looking for a bargain. We spoke to parents who are thankful for the tradition. I have four boys, and whenever you can spend more money and not pay taxes and get more clothes, I mean, who's not going to? <laughs> but some feel that saving a few bucks still isn't worth it. The lines are so long and I would rather spend $3 in tax on a different weekend than not to have to deal with the crowd. One manager at Sears says they expect to be busy with lots of back to school shoppers. It's Saturday it's going to definitely get pretty busy just because it's the weekend, all the parents are off. State officials say they estimate that shoppers will save more than $74 million in state and local sales. Now, most shoppers that we did speak to today said they got a lot of their back-to-school shopping done. And um, experts do say that you can expect to save around $8 for every $100 that you spend. In Odessa, I'm Deanne Lopez, CBS 7 News.